Right now on News Channel 6 at 11, Burke County deputies getting some hands-on training with virtual reality. We will take you there. A congressman and civil rights leader sharing the latest battle he's facing, diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. That's coming up. And the centerpiece of one local church's nativity scene is missing. We'll have more on the search for baby Jesus as your News at 11 starts right now. Live from Television Park, this is WJBF News Channel 6 at 11. I'm Sean Cavage-Stock. Thank you for joining us. Brad and Jenny are off tonight. In a split second, deputies have to decide whether or not to use deadly force to save lives. Our Devin Johnson was with Burke County Sheriff's deputies today in a training exercise that put him behind the barrel. Shoot or don't shoot. When on patrol, deputies have a split second to react to that question. It's a decision they're faced with daily, and with the help of the Burke County Sheriff's Office, I was put in that same scenario. Burke County deputies are going through several virtual scenarios, whether to use deadly force based on active shooter situations, traffic stops, and burglary. The deputies have to react to each situation as if they were actually called to the scene. We're giving direction to them, lawful orders if you will, and as long as they follow those orders, everything's going to be fine. They're the ones that make the decision. Law enforcement agencies are required to do this training every year. However, this is the first year the Burke County Sheriff's Office is using the simulator to train all of the deputies. Corporal Tommy Cooksey says it's not all about training to kill. They understand that the, all these scenarios are not going to be shoot scenarios because that's not what we're trying to, to train on here. We're trying to train, train on their judgment, how well they can respond and react to something. Each deputy is reacting with verbal commands in the body cues of the suspect. Cooksey says it depends on the experience of the officer on how they might handle the situation. What are they thinking about? Are they fixing to run? Are, they, are their eyes focused on me or are they focused on something else? So if they're focused on something else, I know they're not listening to me. They're looking to do something different. So based on all of that and their actions is going to depend on what I'm going to do. I even joined in this scenario to see what officers might encounter. I froze a little bit during the active shooting situation at a basketball game. So what a police officer can do in that scenario is move and close the distance on the shooter uh, and give direction to the kids to get out of the way. Uh, his immediate response is going to be to stop that shooter's actions. And after going through these scenarios, I realized how tough it is for these officers to make that decision. In Waynesboro, Devin Johnson, WJBF, New Channel 6. Legal action concerning the lock and dam is now drawing a crowd. The Georgia Ports Authority filing a motion to intervene in the South Carolina lawsuit to prevent lock and dam from being replaced with a rock passage for fish and is joining the city of Augusta. The South Carolina suit is also asking the court to stop the deepening of the Savannah Harbor, something the Ports Authority is helping to pay for. It's expected. They want to see at the table. Um, they, as again, we said, this is different lawsuit than South Carolina's because we're not focused on the deepening. Um, not su totally surprised by it, uh, but again, this is going to be an uphill battle for this community uh, to keep our water level where it needs to be. And both Augusta and the South Carolina suit contend that removing lock and dam and lowering the upstream pool is a violation of federal law. After a very mild day, actually a warm day for December, a pretty comfortable night out, mostly clear skies, temperatures holding right now in the 40s and 50s across the metro. Aiken here at 46, North Augusta 48, 50 in Augusta, low 50s Evans over towards Hepzibah, and right now Thompson here at 49 degrees. Jiffy Lupus Skyview Network, Washington Road, all is quiet and dry. No rain across Georgia, Carolina after some early morning showers. Forecast coming up for tomorrow morning. Uh, start your day with lots of sunshine in 42. Sunny at 10 and 48, and by noon, we're sunny and 53. A beautiful day coming up to wrap up 2019, but showers to start the new year. Tell you about that in a second. Sean? George, thank you. A suspicious death is under investigation in Richmond County. Details are limited, but we're told 52-year-old Dwayne Lane was found dead at his home in the 2100 block of Bay Vale Road shortly before 5 this morning. The coroner says that his body has been taken to the GBI crime lab for an autopsy. 
Funeral arrangements have been set for Thompson mother killed last week. Portia Few will have two visitations at the Thompson Funeral System on Gordon Street, Thursday, January 2nd from 12 until 7, and Friday, January 3rd from 9 until 11. The service is also Friday at Second Mount Moriah Baptist Church in Harlem. Few will be laid to rest at the church's cemetery. Police say she was shot December 26th after a fight with her estranged husband, Quantavius McGahey. He is now facing several charges following the incident including domestic violence. Meanwhile, the search continues for suspects in the case of a Graniteville mother and child being killed. Authorities are searching for 18-year-old Thomas Henderson. He's wanted for two counts of murder. Two other suspects are also being sought. You can see them here in this video. If you recognize any of them, please contact police. Reward money is being offered for any information leading to an arrest, and you can't remain anonymous. A figurine of baby Jesus stolen from a nativity scene at a church in Aiken. It happened Saturday at St. Mary, help of Christian Catholic Church. Church members say that surveillance video shows three suspects, two young men and a young woman. People who work across the street from the church told us they can't believe it when they heard the news. Come on, how bad a person are you to steal something from a church? It goes beyond comprehension for me. That's people with nothing better to do on their time. And Aiken Public Safety says they are still searching for the suspects. If you have any information, call police. The South Carolina Center for Educator Recruitment, Retention and Advancement conducts research on the educational system. Georgia Regovery breaks down its most recent report on the number of teachers across the state. Each year, the Center for Educator Recruitment, Retention and Advancement studies the number of teachers that leave the classroom, how many teaching vacancies are across the state, and how many people are entering the profession. We've had this steady downward trend for really since the recession, and every year we're having a few more um, teacher vacancies still open at the beginning of the year. So unfortunately, I think that trend's kind of continued. At the end of the 2018-2019 school year, more than 6,500 teachers did not return to their positions, and 555 teaching positions were left vacant across the state. So your class sizes is probably the first impact on a teacher and a kid. You know, so they're sitting in overcrowded classrooms, not getting the attention that they need. The second thing would be that you may not be able to offer certain things because you can't find the teachers. The number of teachers not returning to their positions decreased from the 2017-2018 school year and more than 20 percent of those teachers went to another district. But the data shows that work needs you to look be done up. to keep teachers in the field. And you're one of those teachers that we are able to retain. For now, yeah. It's, it's hard. It gets harder every year, I think. Um, and one thing that I've, that I've had a lot of discussions with sort of decision makers about is I think the people that we're going to retain are not going to be your most passionate people. And that was Georgia Reed Godfrey reporting. The report shows that many first year teachers did not return and there were increases in the number of teachers who left for personal reasons and the number of international teachers working in the state. With the new year fast approaching, it's time to start thinking about your taxes. Tax offices, as well as do-it-yourself services, offer refund advancements. A consumer lawyer with the South Carolina Legal Services says, beware of hidden fees, and she adds that anyone can do their taxes for free at irs.gov. There's so many fees to think about, but at least not only are you paying a fee to the tax preparer, you're also potentially paying other fees like to the bank, um, to a transfer charge, a application charge. There's any number of fees that different tax preparers might charge and you need to know what those are. And every tax prep service has their own rules and fees so make sure you read the fine print before you sign. The Salvation Army is looking to make some last-minute pushes for donations. The Salvation Army is $25,000 short of its goal in donations and needs the public's help. If you would like to make a donation, you can visit the SalvationArmyAugusta.org or you can take a check or cash to the Center of Hope on Green Street or the Crocs Center on Broad Street. All of your donations stay here locally to benefit programs in the Augusta area. Augusta leaders will begin 2020 the way they started 2019 without a paid parking program for downtown. It's been more than a year since a parking task force submitted recommendations to change the park in downtown area. Commissioners put off taking any action at their meeting two weeks ago, saying that they were still seeing the plans for the parking program for the first time. 
I'm cautious when it comes to looking over documents. I, you know, especially when the, you're talking about contractual details, which was one of the documents we received. Um, we none of us had had a chance to look through it. Uh, so, you know, moving forward, I, I hope that both hands are on top of the table as as we look as we deal with documents. And commissioners are expected to try again to approve a paid parking program for downtown next year. However, some commissioners still want to wait until after the Broad Street renovations. Straight ahead on News Channel 6 at 11, you'll hear from the man being called a hero after taking down a gunman who shot and killed two people inside of a church Sunday. A huge success. Because the farewells, Aquafina is here. Actor Paul Walter Hauser, plus unnecessary censorship and music from Mark Ronson and Anderson Pack. This could be a Broadway show. Jimmy Kim Alive tonight on ABC. The latest headlines, live radar, game highlights, cool contests, it's all on WTBF.com. Not in front of a TV? Stream live newscasts anywhere on your computer and mobile devices. WTBF.com is coverage you can count on. Listen. Every Democrat running for president is better than the criminal in the White House. We all have progressive plans to address the big challenges facing our country. What makes me different is I've been working for 10 years outside of Washington to end the corporate takeover of our democracy and to return power to the American people. I started Need to Impeach to hold this lawless president accountable. I'm proposing big reforms like term limits, a national referendum, and ending corporate money in politics. As president, I'll declare climate change an emergency on day one and use those powers to finally address the climate crisis. And I've spent 30 years building a successful international business so I can take on Donald Trump on the economy and beat him. I'm Tom Steyer and I approve this message because there is nothing more powerful than the unified voice of the American people. The accident was not my fault. When you're injured, you need help fast. Call George Sink Injury Lawyers at all nights. You need someone that's going to fight for you. Call now. Call George Sink Injury Lawyers at all nights. At Bojangles, you won't find a microwave. You will find master biscuit makers rolling dough and hand-cutting biscuits all day long. Head to Bojangles and get two sausage and egg biscuits for just $3. Bojangles, it's bow time. Live Viper 6 Skyview Network, powered by Jiffy Lou Multicare. Now, your most accurate forecast with WJBF Live Viper 6. Turned out to be a pretty nice day. We had our share of sunshine, certainly temperatures well above average. We should have been in the, the 50s and 30s, but today we were in the 70s and 60s. How about that for a morning low? 61 degrees, uh, even above our normal high for this time of year. Picked up uh, 87 hundredths of an inch with showers rolling through during the early morning hours. Records for the date, 79 set back in 1984. Got all the way down to seven, and that record is held since 1880, a long time ago. Jiffy Lube Skyview Network, 15th Street, downtown Augusta, starry skies, and a mild evening across the two state. And uh, looking forward to those temperatures uh, dropping off into the upper 30s and low 40s by early tomorrow morning. Currently 46 in Aiken. You'll see 50s in Edgefield, Evans, south to Augusta. There's a 50 in Sylvania and over towards uh, Allendale. Lincolnton also at 51 degrees. Everybody else pretty much in the middle and up upper 40s. Uh, the winds currently uh, continue out of the west between calm and about nine miles an hour, the highest wind speeds here in the Augusta area. But uh, this will be the, the going speed and direction as we head into the overnight hours and early tomorrow morning. Wake up temperatures to start your day with mostly sunny skies. Look for upper 30s, McCormick and Sluda and everybody else pretty much between 40 and 41 degrees. There's that frontal battery that came through during the overnight hours and early this morning, giving us nearly an inch of rain rainfall now pushing off the coast behind the front. It's nice and clear across the south up and down the eastern seaboard. Not not completely up and down the eastern seaboard because you will see some wintry precipitation over uh, parts of Maine and New Hampshire into Massachusetts. Snow coming down across Wisconsin and uh, parts of Michigan, but the rest of the U.S. is very, very quiet tonight. It's going to stay that way for the next two days. Uh, no rainfall coming our direction, which is really good news. It's been a very wet and warm December. So as we head towards tomorrow, clear skies across the region. Tomorrow, all day long, nothing but sunshine. Wednesday, sunshine all day 
along as we head towards Wednesday night. Looking forward to a few clouds. And then as we push towards Thursday, low pressure lifts out of the Gulf. Going to bring us a chance for showers for Wednesday and Thursday. Maybe an inch, inch and a half of rain possible as we head towards the end of the week. Forecast highs tomorrow, 50s and 60s. Start your morning at 42 at 8 a.m. By noon, we're at 53, a high of 58 degrees. And uh, as far as your 8 p.m. temperature, we're at 54. Seven day forecast, sunshine Tuesday and Wednesday, showers Thursday and Friday, back to sun for the weekend. A gorgeous Saturday and Sunday coming up, Sean. All right, thank you, George. Sure. And the Clemson Tigers are back in South Carolina after their big victory. Up next, they head to the national championship where they take on LSU Saturday. Clemson beat Ohio State in the Fiesta Bowl 29 to 23. Fans say it's worth waiting in the rain to cheer on their team as they landed in the Palmetto State. A popular game show host is giving an update on his battle with cancer. What the longtime Jeopardy host told ABC News, where your news at 11 continues. But first, let's take a look at the winning numbers for the South Carolina Lottery. Pick 3, 1, 3, 4, and pick 4, 4, 2, 2, 0. your last chance to save on the gift you really want at Nissan's year-end event. Get in today and save big on our tech-filled lineup, like Rogue or Altima, both with available Safety Shield 360. Hurry, event ends January 2nd. Get 0% financing for up to 72 months on 12 models or save up to 10320 on select models. One week to deal. Only seven days left in 2019 to blow out all 2019s at Waynesboro Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Seven days only. Remaining 2019 Rams save 14,000 off MSRP this week only. Remaining 2019 Challengers, Chargers, Durangos, Grand Cherokee, Compass, or Cherokee save 7,000 off for the lowest prices of the year. One week only at Waynesboro Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Just a short drive down 25. Be there. Good to go. Waynesboro.com. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mary Morrison. Ring in 2020 at Savannah Rapids Pavilion. The event's called A Night in the 20s, a roaring New Year's Eve celebration. All proceeds benefit Safe Homes of Augusta. Find out more at that nonprofit's website. Start your New Year's resolutions on the right foot. Take part in the first day hike at Aiken State Park. Meet at the main day use uh, parking lot near the Jungle Trail Trailhead at 10 a.m. Add your events. Go to WJBF.com. The threat of someone stealing your personal information is more real than ever. WJBF News Channel 6, your trusted local news source for more than 65 years, recognizes the importance of keeping you informed. That is why we're introducing News Channel 6 Cyber Insider. This invaluable resource will help you stay in the know when it comes to keeping your information safe. WJBF News Channel 6 Cyber Insider. Cyber coverage you can count on. Get ready for acclaimed Bluegrass Band Balsam Range and the comedic bluegrass blend of the Cleverleys at the Morris Museum's Budweiser True Music Southern Soul and Song Series on January 10th. I just love that Southern Soul and Song. The WJBF Live Viper 6 Skyview Network brought to you by Jiffy Lube Multicare. Two young people who are doing amazing things, one in the world, one in the world of sweeteners. Learn about Hands of Hope USA and Mesca Beverages. And one more young, Bob Young, tells us about his latest book, Tuesday at 12.30. And welcome back. We're hearing firsthand from the hero who took down a gunman who killed two people in a church on Sunday morning. It took about six seconds for the churchgoer, Jack Wilson, to fire the fatal shot and stop that horrific act. ABC, well, CNN, rather, Diane Gallagher reports. We must warn you, this report contains some disturbing images from the scene. A normal Sunday church service turned deadly. <laughs> a horrifying moment, a shooter opened fire. The West Freeway Church of Christ live stream showing the gunman seated in the back pew. He stands up, speaks to a man, then pulls out a gun and fires twice. <laughs> Two armed church members react, one killing the gunman. And I fired one round. Jack Wilson, head of security at the church, is credited with taking down the gunman. You train, but you hope you never have to go to that extreme. 
Following a shooting in Sutherland Springs, Texas, two years ago, state lawmakers passed legislation allowing handguns in places of worship and churches to form security teams. If there's any church in this state and in America that was prepared for this, it was this church. Now, authorities are still learning more about the gunman who has been described as relatively transient by the FBI. My understanding is more of a loner and, and probably going to be very difficult to determine exactly what his motivations were other than maybe mental illness. The victims, two men who simply went to worship on a Sunday, murder in just six horrific seconds in a church. He always wanted us to be in the church. He was always my role model. One of them identified as Tony Wallace, a deacon and longtime congregant of the church. We just say God wanted him more than we did. They couldn't handle his perfectness here. And multiple people were stabbed in an attack at a rabbi's home in New York Saturday night. Authorities say a man entered the home during a Hanukkah celebration and attacked those gathered there. The rabbi's home is next door to his congregation. At least five people were taken to the hospital with stab wounds. Police later reported they had a suspect in custody. In this Hanukkah, we suffered more anti-Semitic incidents than the candles that we lit. And that it's... Uh, impossible to bear. Um, we are in a completely different game. The suspect is now charged with federal hate crimes. Investigators say they discovered anti-religious writing in his journal. He's already pleaded not guilty to five counts of attempted murder. Georgia Congressman and civil rights icon John Lewis has announced he has advanced pancreatic cancer. The 79-year-old Democrat is vowing to keep serving while he fights the disease. Lewis says in a statement that he may miss some votes while undergoing treatment in Washington. He's been serving in Congress since 1986. Alex Trebek is giving the latest on his pancreatic cancer battle. The 79-year-old said that he was near remission but is now indicating something different. The longtime Jeopardy host told ABC News that he now has a closed-ended life because of the terrible survival rates of pancreatic cancer. The American Cancer Society reports that overall 9% five-year survival rate for all stages of cancer combined. In March, Trebek revealed in a YouTube video he had been suffering from stomach pains before being diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer. He has become outspoken in raising awareness for the disease and the symptoms as well. Sports is next with Brendan Robinson as he dives into what's next for the Atlanta Falcons after a frustrating 2019 season. At Chevy, we're all family. We're a festive family. We're a get up and go family. We're all part of the Chevy family. Because our Chevy employee discount is still available to everyone. The Chevy price you pay is what we pay. Not a cent more. One. So happy new year and welcome to the family. The Chevy family. Use your Chevy employee discount for everyone to get over $6,100 below MSRP on this Equinox. The Chevy employee discount for everyone ends soon. Oh, heavenly hand cream. Heavenly hand cream? My hands get so dry and cracked, I need serious relief. That's why I use O'Keefe's Working Hands. It's America's number one selling hand cream for guaranteed relief of dry, cracked hands. Thanks to O'Keefe's, I got my hands back. <laughs> Are you sleeping in plastic bags in a lip mask? My skin is so dry and cracked, I need serious relief. That's why I use O'Keefe's Night Treatment. Get visible results in one night and guaranteed relief. Available in O'Keefe's Working Hands, Healthy Feet, and Lip Repair. At Chevy, we're all family. We're a festive family. We're a get up and go family. We're all part of the Chevy family. Because our Chevy employee discount is still available to everyone. The Chevy price you pay is what we pay. Not a cent more. So happy new year and welcome to the family. The Chevy family. Use your Chevy employee discount for everyone to get over $6,100 below MSRP on this Equinox. The Chevy employee discount for everyone ends soon. Some things just can't last forever, like slushy here. And our best offer of the year during the final days of the Built for the Holidays sales event. Hurry in now and get 20% estimated savings on select 2019 Ford models, plus earn complimentary maintenance through Ford Pass Rewards. These deals won't last forever. Right now, during the final days, get 20% estimated savings on Ford F-150, plus earn complimentary maintenance through Ford Pass Rewards, only at your local Ford dealer. 2020, 2020, it sounds so futuristic. But 2025, 
that's huge because it represents 2025 interest-free financing at Rooms to Go. That's your future. Getting great looking Rooms to Go furniture now and taking five years to pay for it with no interest, zero. Again, get that fresh new look for the new year, big savings and interest-free financing until January 2025 at the Rooms to Go New Year's sale. Obviously a big deal. Georgia Bulldogs continue to get ready for Wednesday night's Super Bowl matchup with Baylor. It'll be the last time for many to play in that dog's uniform. Some dogs won't even get the chance for different reasons, though. Six starters from the SEC championship game won't be there, counting injuries and some guys going pro. Georgia could be without a quarter of its scholarship players for the bowl game, but Jake Fromm sees it as an opportunity for young guys, and Charlie Warner says the dogs want to go out on top. I think it says a lot about the guys who are here who are ready to step up you know, to the challenge and ready to go in and compete. I think it's an awesome opportunity for those guys to show what they've been working on all season. I, just want, I don't want people to be, especially my team, you know, my teammates and you know, pe other people, like fans, to be like, unappreciative of where we're at. You know, there's not many teams that can do what we did this year. To see how hard these guys have worked to, to achieve our goals. And yeah, we didn't go to the national championship you know, or the final four, but to see what we've accomplished in four years, you know, it's, and especially this year, has been a... Uh, it's been cool to see. What else is cool to see? Today, the dogs visiting a local children's hospital down in New Orleans. The NFL, the day after the regular season ends, is known as Black Monday because it's when most teams will fire their head coach if they're going to do so. A couple holding off, but the Browns and Giants did it today, joining the Panthers and the Redskins. But it looks like former Panthers coach Ron Rivera reportedly going to take that Redskins job later this week. Yeah, the Panthers cleaned out their lockers today. Beloved tight end Greg Olson said he's not sure what the future holds for him or the team. Got a standing ovation Sunday and treated it like it will probably be his last game in a Panthers uniform. The Falcons will not have a new head coach next year. Dan Quinn guided them to a 6-2 and two record after the 1-7 and seven start. So DQ and general manager Thomas Dimitrov have been under fire all year, but owner Arthur Blank giving them one more shot next season. I believe that the relationship and the, the uh, setup moving forward with Dan and Rich and myself and how we're going to approach uh, you know, football operations and our decision making and our uh, processes, I think it's going to be very positive for us. I think we'll have an opportunity to discuss at a lot of levels what needs to be adjusted and changed. Um, some areas more than others, and uh, you know we think that it's going to be uh, along with what is uh, what we've learned this season. I think it's going to be helpful for us again moving into the future with it. Falcons still have to make some moves and roster cuts. Right now, they're about 5.1 million under the salary cap. And some college basketball scores from tonight: South Carolina falls at home to Stetson. Georgia blows it out over Austin P. We'll be right back. It's my weekly lunch date with mom. We have so much fun. She seems to be so relaxed and happy nowadays. I'm convinced St. John Towers was the right place for her. She tells me all the time about all the activities they have, especially her exercise classes. Look how young she looks. St. John Towers community is what mom really needed. She's independent, safe, and secure, and that gives me a peace of mind too. St. John Towers, call for an information packet today. On the weekends, we spend time with our friends and family. Sometimes, bad things happen to good people. And at George Sink Injury Lawyers, we know that accidents can happen anytime. That's why we're here to take your call every day. Nights, weekends, 24-7. If you're hurt, call all nights. Hey, Mom, do you think Daddy's going to like my picture? I think Daddy's going to love your picture. Veterans in our area need your help this holiday season. Please donate at forcesunited.org. Strength, passion, integrity. These are the qualities that represent News Channel 6's Women to Watch. Join us on the last Wednesday of every month as we celebrate local women who are making a difference in the CSRA. If you know a woman who deserves to be recognized for her contributions to the local business community, nominate her at WJBF.com. Women to Watch is sponsored by Synovus Bank. 
USC Aiken presents the 2019-2020 Cultural Series, featuring outstanding live performances at the Etheridge Center. Don't miss Art Rages on Tuesday, January 14th. This unique performance combines live music, dancing, puppetry, and performances that invite a sense of togetherness. USC Aiken's Cultural Series at the Etheridge Center. For ticket information, visit etheridge.usca.edu or call 803-641-3305. News Channel 6 wants to thank everyone who donated to our Giving Your Best toy drive. Because of you, the Bridge Ministry of the CSRA handed out hundreds of toys to needy children in our area. Thanks for giving your best this holiday season. Tomorrow and Wednesday, mostly sunny highs hovering right around 60. Thursday, showers roll in late into the evening hours, high as 61. Friday, showers in 70, sunny for the weekend. And final preparations are underway to ring in the new year in Times Square. Crews putting the finishing touches on the iconic ball. They're installing new Waterford crystals and more than 26,000 rather crystal triangles are making up the ball, which is about 12 feet in diameter. This year's design celebrates the gift of goodwill. How about that? Bling. Yeah. Well, that's all the time we have for you tonight. The news continues online at WJBF.com. Have a great evening.